Hi my dear students how a nice day all of you today also you are going to join with math college to learn new mathematics lesson today we can learn triangles and quadrilaterals of grade 8 firstly we can identify what is the triangle you can see on the board the figure what is this figure triangle my dear student you can see three cases about triangle types of a polygon this plane figure is type of a polygon and also bounded by three straight line you can see three straight line and especially this plane figure close plane figure okay the plane figure how to make that name as a triangle my dear student if separate this word as a two part as a triangle you can see here triangle tri mean three this figure has three angles because we call to this figure triangle okay then we are going to identify what are the element of triangle triangle has two type of element one type is arm and another type is angle firstly i am going to name angles we already learned the triangle has three angles if we name this angle we have to use three capital letters as a angle letters we use as a mid letter you can see q p r q p r mid letter is p this angle angle letter is r because as a mid letter q r p and here mid letter is q that mean angle letter is q because like this p q r and also another type of element arm arm mean side what are the side how many side here three side p q q r and p r we can write like this p q q r and p r okay we can go next step now we have new topic what is the sum of the interior angles of the triangle what is mean interior angle interior angles is are uh, like this a b c you can see here uh, by using one letter here name angles sum of interior angles of the triangle that mean sum of a addition b addition c equal 180 for the triangle we can keep our mind as a theorem the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degree okay we can Uh, solving the some questions some problems by using this theorem you can see here example now i am going to solve in this problem that mean we have to find x here you can see three angle but one angle unknown we can use this theorem what is this theorem sum of angles sum of interior angles are 180 i will write like this look at the board very carefully x addition 55 addition 40 equal 180 according to our theorem x 
Addison, 0 addition 5, 5, 4 addition 5, 95 equal 180. This is simple equation. If you have to find x, this 95 we have to remove from this side. What to do? This not plus 95 goes to another side. What happened? We can apply opposite operation. Plus mean minus. Answer is 0 subtract 5 content subtract 5 5 here 7 17 subtract 9 85. Okay. We can do another example also. This is second example. You can see here two triangles A, B, C and A, D, E triangle. Firstly, we can apply our theorem for this A, D, E triangle because we can find A. When consider A D E triangle. A addition twenty addition seventy five. Equal one hundred eighty. A addition twenty seventy five ninety five again we can remove from this side how ninety five goes to right side answer is eighty five now we know what is A A is eighty five now we can apply our theorem for A, B, C triangle. Consider triangle A, B, C. A addition 70 addition B. Also equal Accordingly, our theorem 180. We can substitute what is A. A is 85. Eighty-five addition 70, 0, 5, 5, 7, 8, 15. Addition B equal 180 B equal 180 subtraction 155 therefore B equal 25 now you learn how to solve in like this instance with triangle section. Okay. Then you are going to learn about quadrilaterals. Yes. What is the quadrilateral? Quadri means four, lateral means side. Four side we call quadrilateral. You can see here having four side and having four angle we call it quadrilateral. Now we are going to learn about the sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral. That means what is the relationship interior with interior angle of the quadrilateral. Here you can see uh, this angles name by simple A, B, C, D. You can see here A addition, B addition, C addition, D equal to 360. This is a theorem for sum of interior angles of a quadrilateral. The sum of the interior angle of a quadrilateral is 360. Now we are going to solve in the problem. 
some of interior angles and quadrilaterals. Okay, now we can solve the problems. Sum of interior angles with quadrilateral. You can see as a first of a first example, 50 degree, 80 degree. Here, what is right angle? That means 90 degree. And here we have to find x. I will write like this. According to our theorem, x addition 50 addition 80 addition 90 degree equal what is? 360 360 x 0 0 0 0 9 8 17 17 with 5 22 360 then accordingly our simple equation knowledge we can write 360 subtraction 220 here plus and goes to another side right side minus what is answer 0 0 0 6 2 4 3 2 1 x equal 140 very easy okay we are going to second example also you can see here we have to find here also x, 2x, 3x, 2x, but not mention here what is the angle. But we know according to our previous knowledge, these angles we can identify vertically opposite angle. Here also 2x. Now we can write if we start from this angle 2x. 2x, 3x, addition 2x, equal 360. 2x, 2x, 4x, 4, 3, 7x, 7, 2, 9x. 9x equal 360 degrees. 9x mean 9 multiply x that means we can apply opposite operation as what is division 9 multiply x 360 divide by both 9 both sides 9 to 9 cancel x remain by 9 1 by 9 4 40 degree because x is 40 degree now my dear students you learned what is the relationship with sum of interior angles of triangle and quadrilateral and also you solving some problems so my dear student uh, we will be continue again with exterior angles of the triangle and sum of exterior angle of a quadrilateral uh, with next lesson part 2 of triangles and quadrilateral lesson okay don't forget uh, subscribe our mass college youtube channel and you join always with us goodbye my dear students